It's too early for this shit. What is going on with this? Just look at it. Just look at this. <sighs> Hospital judgment day. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hope this isn't a precursor to the day. Have to stop really quick. <laughs> and get a treatment. Because oh. I can't breathe. Oh. oh man. Gonna be late. Gonna be late. Gonna be so late. It's Carolina Panthers Stadium. AKA the world's largest piece of shit. Shit, the thing I'm most bummed about is I'm not gonna be able to get my pre like clinic Starbucks. That's what gets me going. That's what gets the juices flowing. I don't, know, I don't know what I'm gonna do now. You've been at this light for five minutes. Oh my God, just pull up, go! God, you need to pull up and your parents should have pulled out. Come on, bro. Not you, not you. Don't you even think about it. I'll ruin you. I feel like parking deck parking should kind of, should be like an Olympic sport. Because apparently it takes a lot of talent and a lot of brains to be able to know how to do it. My team's gonna be pissed at me. I am late as hell. Not only that, but I just turned around to come back out to the car because I forgot to stand for the camera. Vlogging is way more important than being on time for your doctor's appointments. <clears throat> Any true self-respecting vlogger knows that. But we're here now. I have my stand. So we're good. And like always, ritual to take the stairs. Like Rocky. Hey, you want to be in my vlog? No choice. <laughs> You're in it now. Shut the door. Okay, I'll shut the door. Don't want to give people my CF germs. Hold on one second. I'm just going to go a little higher. <coughs> Cough and clear it out. Yeah, this first, like, I'm going to take like the first one or two is like clearing my lungs out per. We got it. <laughs> Oh! That's not bad! No, no, those are terrible. What are you talking about? <laughs> Could be better. It's even lower than last time. Oh, really? Yeah, FEP 161, it was like 71 last time. Well, <laughs> we have some work to do. That's all right. You want me to beat on you for a while? Depends on how you're going to beat on me. I know. <laughs> I am sick one out. You think you're well enough to handle that? <laughs> I'm always well enough for that. Alright. Alright. <coughs> Not too good. Uh, I knew it was going to be low today though. I'm tight chested as hell. <coughs> it done any meds today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did uh, albuterol actually on the way here because I started coughing in the car. Okay. And I was like, I was getting starry eyed like on the interstate. That's always fun. Like that's like that should also be like an Olympic sport. Like, you, you just gotta like you start coughing, and when you, if things start going black and blurry, you just have to like grab all the wheel and just like <laughs> focus on the lines. Thank you. My FVC went up, but you don't matter. All right. Probably not gonna get much higher than that. Okay, we can stop it. I just don't like uh, my like I'm my lower airways are so tight. It's just it's just not gonna happen. I got you. Well, <coughs> my lungs were even lower this time than last time. Sixty one from seventy one. What is the next plan? Well, right now I'm trying to get a transit van because so I can modify it and then travel around for a while. So technically living out of my van. 
That's my plan as of now. Do you think the Cybox is going to work? <laughs> I don't know. Because it's well, been... you know what kind of results you've had before with it. Yeah, like it's some like sometimes it works really well, and sometimes you know it's like you know doesn't really. It's either like will it work, or is it just that time to where I need to go in? Because it's been almost two years. So it's all right. Like a, so what day are we going to give it to to know if it's going to work? Uh, I mean, I would say like a week, because if I mean, if I'm not, but we have like antibiotics, especially something high powered like Zyvox, if I'm not feeling like up to it, where like I'm really making like strides in like a week, then I just don't. So can we know by Tuesday of next week? Mm, yeah. I'm on the pulmonary service, so I can admit you, and if we wait too late in the week, late in the week, we're not going to get a port like we need to. Gotcha. I don't know exactly how ports work, like how it gets tunneled and all that. Some of them you can see that line, like, and if you lose the weight, you in their see the line. I don't want to see it. I it, tunnel it deeper, put me to sleep. I don't care what you do. Well, you can't tunnel it deeper. So that's I what, think I don't care about like having to bump in my chest. That's whatever. But I told you, I'm worried about the next stuff. Like if I have to see a line in my neck every day, I'm gonna have. To, I'm definitely gonna have to go to therapy. <laughs> Where it crosses the clavicle. And I like can't see it because uh, it's got to come up like this mm -hmm. and then dive down. I'm diving inside where it's going. So it's right not going to be like do it. Ow! How's that? Ow! Feel it, don't you? Ow! Doesn't hurt. This is Nat. Hi. How best, are you? Best nurse ever. Love him. He's my favorite. You hear yeah. that? Favorite. Anyone favorite. else who comes here? Favorite, this is my not favorite. You. I love him. Right. And my doctor is very anti-port, so that's why he didn't admit me today. Him and portacaths do not uh, do not mix, <clears throat> so he's trying to put it off by any means necessary. Yeah. Don't move out of the way, guy. I'll just run into. Fuck it, I'll just run to the wall. Huh. <sighs> well. That definitely wasn't the most um, encouraging or best clinic visit I've ever had. That's for sure. But you know, it could uh, it could always be worse. It's uh, my small airways are acting up today, so I'm super tight chested, which that totally showed on my uh, my PFTs. So I'm not too worried about the 61%. Uh, it is it is a little annoying, especially when I've had kind of an upward trend going on. It's like pushing a giant rock up a hill. And with CF, every time you almost get to the top of that hill to where it levels out, you slip and the rock falls all the way back down the hill. Zyvox, it's not too bad of an antibiotic on me, but it always makes me break out in like this weird like acne that's not acne like I don't even know how to describe it it's basically like bumps like you get it I get them on my face on my shoulders just like you would regular acne but no creams work nothing like that you just have to kind of let it run its course so so all you ladies out there who watch my videos to lust after me um, it's calls from an antibiotic you can't hold it against me I knew my lungs were gonna be low like I just knew it I knew from the way that you know I felt that they were gonna be low but Still, whenever they just kind of keep going lower, it just it just bums you out. Even though, even if you expect it, even if you know, even if I come in fully prepared to get admitted, which I was. I know a big factor is my mental health, though, just because with everything that's been going on with like me and Brooke and our breakup and my situation, it's just been it's been a lot. So it's been a mixture of the weather, CF, and just just kind of everything piling piling on me and if you don't have a good headspace there's no way that you're gonna have you know good lungs that's basically it for today though as always thank you guys for uh, tuning in to the vlog checking it out <clears throat> uh, I know the numbers weren't too good today but that's why uh, that's why I do this because I think a lot of people look at me and think that I'm always just walking around with these crazy numbers and always having these great appointments but you know, it's with this with this condition, it always catches up to you, and we all have our uh, have our bad days. So it is what it is. I'll go on these antibiotics. Hopefully, they work. If not, 
go in the hospital and crank this out and get back to being my usual badass self. The biggest thing is uh, you just gotta you just gotta keep your head up. You gotta keep a really good headspace. Because as soon as you let yourself start falling that hole and getting really down and depressed about it, that's when everything just kind of just kind of goes to shit. Your mind is such a powerful, powerful tool that if you let it deteriorate and go into dark places, your whole body is gonna follow. And I know a lot of people think I'm crazy when I say that because they're like, "Oh, you you have CF. It's a lung condition. It has nothing to do with your mind." Everything has to do with your mind. Mental health is one of the biggest parts of CF or really any illness or just life in general. If you don't take care of your mind, everything else is going to fall with it. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you want to get the Cystic Fibrosis Badass shirt, it's going to be available until midnight on Sunday. So make sure you look at the link that's in the description to get yours now. Thank you guys so much. I'm probably going to go to the comic book store and look at comics and collectible figures to make myself feel better, and yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Later. Is that necessary? It's so loud. Just trying to pick up my Zybox and I'm getting put to sleep here.